Hello and welcome to the February 1st, 2010 video version of Invested Central's Chart of the Day. I'm Tom Boley, Invested Central's Chief Market Strategist, and it's my pleasure to provide you with today's Chart of the Day. This Chart of the Day is brought to you by StockCharts.com, simply the web's best financial charts. Well, today we are featuring Life Technologies Corp, uh, ticker symbol LIFE. This is an $8.9 billion healthcare company that operates as a global biotechnology tools company focused on improving the human condition. If you take a look at the chart, you see that uh, back in February, the stock made a big move from $25, uh, made another big breakout, uh, really a breakaway gap type of a breakout in late April. And that really continued all the way through uh, the balance of the year. Now, the, um, the uh, slope of the increase that we saw during the first half or maybe two-thirds of 2009 kind of settled down a little bit as we headed into the end of 2009 and into the early part of 2010. And then you can see this pullback here. We went below the 50-day moving average. The 20-day crossed below the 50-day moving average. Both of these, well, especially the cross of the 20-day below the 50-day, that was the first time we've seen that in uh, the past year. Also, take a look at the volume here on this move lower. So as the price moved below 50-day, the 50-day moving average took out recent price support here at about $51. It did so with increasing volume. The 20-day crossed below the 50-day. And then just at the end of last week, uh, Life Technologies actually came out with their earnings report. It was a pretty strong report. The stock gapped up but was unable to get back above both of these moving averages. So we kind of like it here on the short side. Um, with a fairly tight stop. So from the current price up to say about $51, that would seem to be a pretty decent uh, area to think about entering a short. If it closes over the 50-day, you could put in a tight stop there, or maybe a little bit above the 50. I think the 50 days up at 50.76. So maybe around 51 to 51.50, a close over that level if you want to keep it really tight. Otherwise, I would give it up to about $53 which was uh, where the prior two moves to the upside failed. Uh, if it breaks above $53, especially if the volume uh, continues to increase on that move, then we would cover uh, and simply move to the sideline, take a small loss. The other thing that looks interesting at this level is notice that this RSI, for the most part during the uptrend, you can see the RSI was, for, was basically holding 50 to the downside. Um, most of the time when you're in an uptrend, you'll see RSI hold at 50. Occasionally, you'll get down to 40, but rarely do you go back down below the 40 level on RSI when you're in an uptrend. Now, just recently on this break below the 50, the increasing volume, the nasty MACD, all of this is coinciding with the RSI dropping almost all the way down to 30. And now, the RSI is coming back up and testing that 50 level from underneath. So this is the, potentially the early stages of a downtrend starting in uh, life technologies. That's why we tend to think, uh, tend to look at this move to the upside as a possible um, entry point on the short side. But again, any close over $53, especially with increasing volume, and you'd want to be out of any short position here. I hope you've enjoyed our presentation today. Be sure to check out our chart of the day every day at investedcentral.com. While you're there, sign up for our free weekly Market Pulse newsletter and have the chart of the day emailed directly to you. Happy trading.